Do you have a doggy that suffers from environmental allergies and you are desperate for a holistic solution that works? Like you and many other dog owners, scratching is a symptom that you would most like to see resolved for your beloved canine friend. Sadly, environmental allergies are not limited to a certain season of the year anymore and we are seeing more and more all year round allergens. Environmental allergies like pollen or dust mites allergies are frustrating no matter which system of medicine is used to treat them. It almost always requires as a, an approach from several different angles like to find the right food and supplements to support your dog's immune system and also to remove the allergens from the skin and coat. So in this video I'm going to share with you how to use a skin relief shampoo and how it works. Hi, I'm Itka, happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers. I've always been passionate about dogs and being in the pet industry for over 30 years, including winning international dog grooming competitions, representing England and being placed at the World Team Championship and winning Dog Grooming Salon of the Year award. The knowledge I gained over the years plus my diplomas in canine massage and clinical aromatherapy have uh, led me to be the proud founder of Vitacanis, aromatherapy products for dogs and their owners. So this is Vicky, a Lakeland Terrier. Uh, she has been using the shampoo since, I think, September, October and before that uh, she had hardly any hair on her ears she had very sensitive skin on her back and she didn't grow much hair on her back either and yeah her skin and coat improved enormously and she is on the medications now so i'm going to show you on vicky how to use the uh, skin relief shampoo so first of all I'm going to wet the coat and the skin. Okay, now I'm going to apply the skin relief shampoo. The Skimmy Leaf Shampoo is slightly like a pearl bluish color. The color, the blue color, come on darling, is from the German chamomile essential oil. Good girl. So first of all, we apply the shampoo on the body and massage it well. She, you can see she's still sensitive a little bit here on her back. Come on, sweetie. Do her armpits, the belly, the tail. Back legs. And the face. So we always shampoo the face the last and rinse, <laughs> rinse the first. Now we rinse her off, so the face, the first, and the body. Now I'm going to apply the second shampoo, and then I'll leave it on the coat, on the skin, for 10 minutes. So the shampoo and all the goodness in it can work its magic. <laughs> so you can see it makes it more rather when uh, on the second application. Just make sure you cover the whole body with the shampoo. 
put together. It smells very nice, uh, like peppermint, uh, chamomile, fresh. Make sure you uh, wash well between the toes, especially if your dog is scratching and uh, more, more nibbling than scratching between the toes. Uh, you can use this shampoo as a daily uh, paw wash if your dog has sensitive paws. And the face last. Good girl. <laughs> He's smiling. Pull the hair away from her eyes. The, the shampoo is still less, but still I don't want her to have hair in her eyes. Good girl. So while she's waiting for 10 minutes, so it's 8.08, so I'm going to wait till 8.18 and I'm going to massage her coat and her skin so the shampoo can work. It has time to work. And now that the allergies like pollen or dust mites allergies are frustrating no matter uh, which system of medicine is used to treat them. It almost always requires an approach from several different angles to find, like, to find the right food and supplements to support your dog's immune system and also remove the allergens from the coat and the skin. Uh, some medications can elevate itching almost immediately, such as Apocal. However, not every dog responds to these medications or does well on uh, them long term. Uh, also, some dog owners are fundamentally against using these type of medications, especially if they want to keep long term medications to a minimum or not at all. I designed the Skin Relief Shampoo because it would perfectly complement Skin Relief Spray and help all the doggies suffering from environmental allergies. As a dog lover, I understand the frustration dog parents feel when they are watching their dogs uh, constantly scratching and nibbling and chewing because of these environmental allergies. Skin problems in dogs are commonly caused by allergic inhalant, uh, hay fever, atopy. Uh, while uh, humans have mast cells in um, the respiratory passages that become inflamed and cause sneezing, like me now, uh, dogs inhale the pollen but develop atopy in the skin. Uh, dogs don't usually sneeze with atopy, uh, most just get itchy, uh, which causes them to leak, chew and scratch. Skin Relief Shampoo is a gentle plant-based aromatherapy shampoo that provides a rich, hydrating, purifying bathing experience for even the most sensitive skin. Uh, it combats itching, it provides a fast relief to allergic reaction, it calms sensitive skin, leaves the coat squeaky clean and fresh smelling, uh, keeping skin pH balanced and it also helps shield skin and hair from damaging airborne pollutants and offers uh, defense against environmental stressors. So the 10 minutes is over, I'm going to rinse Nikki, I'm going to rinse the face first and then her body. Washing or rinsing the face, always avoid, avoid the ears and nose because you don't want your dog to inhale water in. More about bathing your dog you can find in this video. Looks 
So now the cake is all nice and clean. I'm going to dry her. You can find out more about dry dogs after bathing in my previous video. Good girl. So the coat feels nice and squeaky clean. Smells lovely. And she seems pretty happy. So Vicky is almost dry. I'm just going to finish her. And stay with us till the end where I'm going to share with you a discount code uh, you can use to get 15% of the Skin Relief shampoo. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and remember, keep calm and keep aromatherapy.